Hi everybody, um, I feel like I've been a little bit MIA, so I decided to come on and film for you guys. Um, I want to talk a little bit about coronavirus. I don't want to get too, too into it just because it's everywhere. Um, but as you guys know, I have anxiety um, and this has been a challenge for me. Um, but I feel like I'm still in a better place than I was last year, considering all the uncertainty and chaos in the world right now. Um, and I feel like I've been training for this a little bit, like all the tools I've been practicing and like my therapy sessions have gotten me ready to be in this and be semi okay. I also feel like a lot of you guys who don't have an anxiety disorder are sort of, um, living in my, living life from my perspective a little bit, um, worst case scenarios, um, trying to plan by worrying, being obsessed with like the news and reading articles and gathering all the information, um, wanting to stay away from people. Those are things I deal with um, kind of daily. It's gotten a lot better, but um, I still have my moments. And so I feel like you guys are kind of getting an idea of like what people with anxiety deal with every day. So um, I did want to open myself up to you guys. If you're having issues kind of dealing with everything that's going on and you just want to chit chat, if you have an Instagram, you can private message me on there. I'm willing to chit chat with anybody um, about your anxieties or anything that you have that you're worried about. Um, if you want tips on how I deal with my anxieties, the tools I use to deal with keeping my thoughts in check, um, not letting myself spiral into out of control scenarios, things like that. Um, just hit me up on Instagram, you guys. Um, and then I also wanted to thank the people that have checked in on me. I appreciate you guys so much. I've gotten several messages from you guys. Um, and I feel like with everything going on and just all of the stress that's going on, like the fact that a place in your mind came and thought of me and you actually took time from caring for yourselves and your families and your own well-being to like make sure I was okay um really means the world to me you guys like I appreciate you all more than you know um I have been chatting with a lot of you guys and that's been really helpful um kind of to take my mind off things and like have a sense of normalcy so I do appreciate you all so much um like I say all the time like you guys mean so much to me um, all of you guys and your families have been in my prayers. Um, I'm praying for this to kind of not be as bad as maybe they're thinking and to end sooner rather than later. I know we're probably not in the worst of it yet, but anyway, um, oh, and funny story. <laughs> so my allergies are kicking my booty since Monday. I've had some really, um, intense allergies. It's, um, pollen season here. Pollens are super high. Um, so I had a package I had to get out at the post office today and <clears throat> I went in, I took my own pen, um, so I didn't have to borrow anybody's pen. And then I was filling out the customs form and I got this tickle in my throat and I had, I swear, like a three minute coughing fit in the post office. Um, so I was of course, you know, covering with my shirt, like we're supposed to coughing into my shirt, but I could not get rid of it. I didn't have a bottle of water and I was just like, <laughs> you know, and there was probably 10 people in the post office. They literally all stopped talking and like everybody was looking at me. Like when I finally finished coughing, like when I finally finished coughing, everybody was like, and I was like, I just have allergies. Um, and their faces were literally like, girl, get out of here with that. Like get out of the post office, get out of my face. You do not have allergies. Like you can feel everyone's tension when people are out. Um, I feel like anyway, and um i'm just ready to go back into like a sense of normalcy and i know we have a long time for that so um my video today is going to be about cheap thrills um i feel like the drugstore polish gods have been shining on me recently and i have been finding some really fun stuff at the drugstore um most of this stuff was purchased before all this corona stuff really took over here so um don't think i've been out buying polish when i should be you know, staying indoors. I have been staying indoors the way I'm supposed to be. Um, and then some stuff was sent to me by my friend, Mary Beth. So, um, I just wanted to talk about some cheap thrills cause I know a lot of you are still going out to the grocery store, going to Walmart for supplies. Um, you can still go to drugstores to get prescriptions in most of the country. So while you're there, if you just need a little pick me up with like a little cheap thrill, um, there's some really exciting stuff in my drugstore. So I'm sure if my middle of nowhere drugstore has it, you guys should be able to find it. So let's talk about some 
So I'm not going to be doing any live swatching. Um, I feel like I've gotten away from just chatty polish videos because I feel like you guys just want to see live swatching. And live swatching takes time. So um, this will just be bottles talking about what I think. Um, these may get live swatched on camera eventually. But for right now, it's just like, a, let me show you the bottle, tell you... Um, tell you color names and kind of give you my impression of what I think of what's new and out there. So first up at CVS, they had a whole new display of LA Girl gel polishes. Um, these are new to my CVS. I barely started noticing them maybe a couple of months ago. The first display they had was just like a general display of colors um, and nothing really caught my attention. But um, when I went in, I was looking for the new Sally Hansen Jelly Belly collaboration, which I did not find by the way, but they had a display full of these. So they're like pastel -y, um neon type colors. There was two, there was a green and a yellow. I did not pick those up, but I did pick up the rest. One thing I like about CVS is if you have the um, extra bucks, CVS card, whatever, they send you a lot of coupons. So I ended up picking these up when I had a um, save money off a $20 purchase. So um, I think these are regularly $3, $3 or $4. Let me see. I think I might have the receipt in here. I don't. I think these are like $2.98, $3.98, one or the other. Um, but I was so excited because these are like so right up my alley. So the first one here is called Pinky Swear, and it is just the most gorgeous, um, better light here, the most gorgeous bubblegum pink. Um, I love my LA Color Girl. I love my LA Girl Desire Polish, and the other one is... Um, Eden. And they're actually still here from the last time I filmed. So these are my two favorite pinks like almost ever in my collection. And um, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. So these have really good formulas. I'm hoping these do as well. The brush is kind of weird because it's the same color as the polish. So I'm not sure how that's going to work with applying. Um, the bristles are actually either like clear or pink. Um, so that might be a little bit weird. But, um, so this one was called again, Pinky Swear. Look how fun that looks. I could see these being perfect for like Easter time, um, spring and summer, pedicures, all of that stuff. Then there's a little bit more coral shade. This is called Giggles. I'll show these two side by side. This is more of a pink leaning coral, but definitely not straight up pink like this one. Um, and then there's Good Vibes Only, which is like completely coral without any pink more of like a creamsicle type color so um they are similar <laughs> but look at how fun oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited for those so i picked up all three of these because these type of colors i love in spring and summer and then i picked up tada look at this purple if you're a purple lover i'm like i think you're gonna love this In store, this sort of reminded me of Color Club's Poochilicious, um, but I was way off on that. Like, I don't even know what I was thinking with that. Like, they aren't even close. This is, um, but this looks so fun. I'm super excited to try it. It's just like such a fun color. Interesting shade of purple, I feel like. So excited for that. And then Bazinga, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. This really pretty blue. So super excited to try these. I will probably try and live swatch these on camera for you guys at some point in time. Um, and then keep in mind there is a neon yellow and a green in this display. So if you guys like these type of colors and you have a trip to CVS for supplies and you need a quick pick me up, maybe check these out. Then um, they also had some of these new SE Remix polishes, which was shocking. And this one is called Below Zero. Look at that shimmer, you guys. This is sort of a really weird color. It's sort of like a purpley maroon, but then all this beautiful blue shimmer. I'm super excited to try this. Um, it's really pretty. I like too how the bottles have like some of this you know, decorations on them. There's some decorations on the sticker on it and stuff. I think that's fun. Um, and then this one was called Berry Nice. And look at that. You guys, look, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this on the nails. All that glow, all that shimmer. 
so beautiful this had really cute packaging as well there's like a little angel wing with a halo and then this has um the same thing here like angel wings with a halo on it so these are nine dollars um i also had a coupon so usually what i do my cvs is really close to my house it's like three minutes away so i'll buy something then i get a coupon then i go back for like so when i bought the la girls they gave me another coupon so i went back and bought one se then i got another coupon i went back and bought the other se so i didn't pay full price for any of these um, so all that stuff was at my CVS. Then I went to my Walgreens to look for the Sally Hansons again, didn't find them. But my Walgreens had the new Essie Spring collection. I didn't pick anything up, but they had that. They had the Flying Solo collection, I think. My Walgreens has not had a new Essie collection and I don't know how long. So I was like, are you feeling okay, Walgreens? Like, <laughs> it was weird. And then um, my CVS and Walgreens also had the China Glaze Trolls collections which I've never seen China Glaze in either one of those places. So again, I was like checking Walgreens temperature. Are you feeling all right? Is everything okay in here, Walgreens? I was kind of shocked. And um, the Walgreens also had the OPI Mexico collection. So I'm like, I really had been avoiding Walgreens makeup department for a while because there was just like never anything new and I was just like getting frustrated and annoyed because I remember going in and buying all the simple colors. Um, so that was exciting. If you haven't been to your Walgreens in a while, um, next time you're there, I would look around and see if you see anything um, that you've never seen there before. Let me know in the comments, like do you feel like your drugstore has kind of picked it up a little bit because I feel like both of mine have and it is exciting to me. Um, so next up I'm gonna talk about um walmart finds so so let's talk about the new line of la colors that they have at walmart um this is la colors quick color this is supposed to be a fast drying polish um i really like these bottles i think they're fun um i like this wider thing thing cap um <laughs> I hope it's nice to paint with. Again, it must be a new thing for the brush to match, or and it's clear or something, but it's matching the color of the polish. So that's a little bit strange for application, in my opinion. I feel like it's gonna be hard to gauge how much polish you have on it. But um, look at this pink, you guys, so beautiful. Um, this was actually sent to me by Mary Beth, and this is called Swift. So super excited to try this. It just screams summer to me. Um, I'm hoping we get a summer, you guys. So my son's baseball season got canceled um, for the rest of the season, and I'm super bummed out about that. I love watching him play baseball. He was actually having a really, really good season. Um, so he's a sophomore in high school. He's 16, and he got... Um, so they do like the radar to see how fast they're pitching. So at a recent tournament, um, he maxed out at 84 miles an hour. So that's really good for someone his age. So, um, we went to a tournament and um, a lot of coaches were very like complimentary of him. Um, like, who is this kid? Um, what grade is he in? Everyone was shocked he's only a sophomore because um, he's a bigger kid. He's about 6'1", 6'2". Um, and... No one had seen him last year because he had to play JV because we tr switched him schools. So if you transfer schools within the same district, um, you have to play JV if you played varsity the year before. I guess because they're trying to keep you from like recruiting. Um, there's no schools in this area good enough to move around for recruiting purposes, but um, that's one of the rules here. So no one had seen him in varsity last year and it was just like, where did this kid come from? Who is he? Um, so he was really happy with the feedback he got. A lot of the seniors on some of the other teams like were like, keep it up, you're gonna be amazing your senior year, like you have two more years. Um, so that was really good. He's been hitting really well. He's been doing a lot of like, you know, in the gap hits, getting his singles and doubles. Um, he hasn't hit a triple yet, but he actually hit, um, a ball to pretty much, so like the fence is here and the ball came down and hit the fence and fell to the ground, um, in center field. So that was a pretty good hit. So he was just doing really, really awesome. And, um, I'm just sad, like it's over right now. Um, and then my older son's semester just went to all online. So he just came home. Thank God. Like all my chicks are in my nest. So I'm really happy about that with everything going on in the world because, um, 
when stuff is wrong, like I just want my kids by my side, you know, so I can take care of them. And if they need anything, I'm here. So, so that was a big relief. He actually just showed up, um, a couple of hours ago and like I definitely feel like a whole weight has been lifted off of me that I've been carrying because he was so far from me <laughs> so anyway back to this polish um Mary Beth also sent me this black it's called fury um I actually use this to swatch a polish um a topper and I do think it dries faster it's not super quick dry, but it's faster drying than some other polishes this was a really nice black um it got very opaque in two coats and I really enjoyed it. So, and I liked the brush. I didn't feel like it made a mess. So this will probably be my new go-to black from now on. Um, so I wanted to thank Mary Beth. I really enjoyed that. And then Mary Beth also sent me um, Ambitious, which is a beautiful pinky mauve grandma. She knows my style so well, you guys. Pinks and grandmas. <laughs> um, so this is really beautiful. I can't wait to try it. Um, so keep an eye out. I probably will be live swatching these as well on the channel. Um, here soon. I'm assuming my work's going to be closed at some point in time and then I'll have a lot of time to swatch and on the weekends I'll be here. So <laughs> I'll probably have a lot of time on the weekends as well. Um, and then this one is called impatient and it's, you can see there's like a glow here. It's a really beautiful purple. You guys, I love this shade of purple. Um, and then the glow in it is sort of golden. I, I think it will give a glow off the nail. So Amy Murphy on Instagram posted a swatch of this. If you guys have not seen it, I'll put her Instagram down here. Go check it out. She made this look freaking amazing. Um, so when I went to my Walmart and these were finally out, I was just like, give me this. Um, and I brought it home because I was just like completely sold based off her swatch picture that I needed this in my life. So those are new at Walmart. Um, another thing new at Walmart is these Sinful Colors Quick Bliss. Um, I really enjoy the packaging on these. I enjoy the ombre top. It's sort of shiny as well. Um, these say dry in a minute plus cherry oil. So, um, I played with these just a tiny bit. Um, they do not dry in a minute. I mean, it's a stretch, but I do think they dry faster than some other polishes. Um, this polish is a textured polish. Um, it's a really beautiful green with some blue shimmer. These are scented. There is like a hint of a cherry scent. I don't know. I wasn't expecting it, first of all. Um, so I, when I painted around, I was kind of like, what is that smell? I was looking around like, what smells? And I couldn't figure it out. And then I was like, it's the freaking polish. Um, I don't enjoy the scent of this as much as I do like on the L'Oreal, um, the L'Oreal ones. Um, on these polishes, I feel like the scent on this is more of a rose and I enjoy that more on the nails. This was a little sweet. I don't know. Something about it, I just, maybe because I wasn't expecting it. But I was like, mm, I didn't enjoy the scent. So I don't know how long it lasts because like I was just playing around, but they are scented. So I picked up this one. Um, I picked up Cherry Chaser. Look at this color, you guys. Look at this bottle. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, there was a couple of pinks, but I went with Climax. So these are in a new Walmart display. They are not limited edition. So hopefully they start showing up in everybody's Walmarts. I'm hoping. Um, and there's some other colors I want to get, but I'll wait because they're not limited edition. So this looks really pretty. Um, I put this on the nail and I really liked it. Um, this one is called Flushed. And it's sort of a like purpley bronzy gold. This looks really pretty. Um, and then I also picked up Hit the Spot. This is like a Cheeto color. So I'm excited. I want some like Cheeto nails in the summer. I'm obsessed with this type of color. It's sort of like Cheeto or like um, mac and cheese powder. I feel like when I'm really tan, these colors pop. I wouldn't wear it on my toes because it kind of reads foot fungus to me. But um, on the nails, so, so pretty. And look at this bottle. It's very Halloween. So I really am excited. I hope this has a good formula. I have um, Sun Worshipper from China Glaze, which is similar to this. It's probably like more light than this. This might be closer to the Marigold that came out last spring, maybe. Um, but I'm excited to try it because I hope the formula is better than Sun Worshipper.
The new stuff at Walmart is these sneaker-like texture sinful colors. These are also in a permanent display at Walmart. So this, all of these that I'm going to show you now of the sinful colors were sent to me from Mary Beth. These came out at her Walmart before they came to my Walmart. So, um, when she was at Walmart, she messaged me and was like, hey, do you have any of these new sinful colors? And I was like, no, I've been looking. So she's so sweet. She bought me the colors I thought she thought I would like and sent them to me. So she's such a sweetheart. Um, so this is called Trackstar and it's a gorgeous teal. And these have sort of a like, um, like a rubbery type finish. I don't know. I'm super excited to try them. I haven't played with these at all yet. So this one is called Fit Chick. Look at that pink. So pretty. I'm super excited. These type of colors are like colors I'm really, really drawn to. This is called Double Time. That is such a bright turquoise. So pretty. Um, and then she sent me a warning. Look at that color. Such a gorgeous coral. Um, and then she also sent over the Sporty Bright Top Coat. So I don't know if these are textured on their own or you need the Sporty Bright Top Coat to get the texture out. I'm not sure yet. If you guys have gotten these and you've played around with them, leave me a comment down below so I know. But I may also live swatch these on camera at some point um, once I get more time. So... I'm super excited um, to try these out. I like textured stuff. I like interesting things on the nail. And then these colors are really fun. And then um, my Walmart had a lot of polishes on clearance. So I picked up a couple of clearance things. Um, this is Salon Perfect's Pour the Champs. And it's like a sort of purpley white with a really pretty pink shimmer you can see the shimmer there these aren't usually my type of colors or my style of polish but for two dollars i'm like i'm gonna try it it looks really pretty in the bottle so if i don't like it i'll pass it along to somebody um but it looks fun so maybe it will be fun so this was for two dollars um the other one i got for two dollars is wine not also from salon perfect this has a little bit of some ugly bottle syndrome but i gotta shake it up but it's sort of like a, a nudie purpley mauve i like these type of colors in the fall um so i'm excited to try this one um and then they also had p2 polishes for a dollar fifty um so as you guys know i did a p2 cosmetics review in the summer they sent me some polishes for pr and ever since I did that review and realized how much I really liked the polishes, um, I've had my eye on this at Walmart and I've just been like, no, no, no. So when I said for $1.50, I was like, okay, but look at how pretty that looks. I'm super excited to try this. This type of turquoise is a color I just really enjoy. Um, and then they had Sally Hansen's for like $4, I think, um, in the big bottles, the, the Complete Salon Manicure and the gel. So I didn't pick up any of those, but if you guys are interested or you've been eyeing some, they did have some of those on sale. So if you head over to Walmart for supplies, you know, and you get a chance, maybe go see what they have at your Walmart. But those are what I picked up on clearance. Um, so that is it for all my cheap thrills in polish. Um, my low buy has pretty much gone to a no buy thanks to coronavirus. Um... I am looking to have my work shut down here soon, and once that happens, I will not be getting paid. My husband will still be getting paid, thank God, but um, basically, like, our earnings are cut in half. So I am pretty much just, like, completely shut down from purchasing any kind of luxury items till all of this passes um, because it's just so unknown. I don't know how long I'll be out of work. I don't know if my elder son's going to need help with school. He was working. He quit his job. Um... The semester ended there's just like a lot of up in the air things that i'm just not sure what's going to happen with so basically right now um i'll look at polishes and that's about as far as it's gonna go <laughs> um so i'm sure a lot of you are all in the same boat so i feel like the cheap thrills are something that maybe if you do need a little pick me up you know you can spare a dollar fifty two dollars three dollars um you know every once in a while so that was sort of the focus of this video and then these are like readily and easily available if you're out at the store you know picking up essentials so in the comments down below let me know if you've tried any of these um have you tried the new la colors have you checked out the new sneaker like finishes um have you tried any of these new pastel la LA Girl polishes. Um, have you tried these new quick dry scented sinful colors? Let me know all that in the comments down below. And then also just let me know that you guys are okay. Um, 
just give me a quick hey me and my family are okay um i hope everybody has toilet paper <laughs> i don't know what's the deal with that but um i luckily i have toilet paper um there's actually an investigation going on at where i work right now because people stole toilet paper out of two of the buildings and um i think they know who they are and they're probably gonna lose their jobs which is really sad um to lose your job over stealing toilet paper um so that's it for this video if you guys have any other videos you want to see while we're all in this um sort of like lockdown type thing that's going on let me know and i'll do my best to um try and film it and get it up i noticed that i have been very emotionally drained when i do get home from work so um if i'm not too tired i'll try and get in here and get some stuff filmed for you guys once work gets canceled i think i'll feel a lot better um just because i get to be like in this bubble that i control <laughs> um but i hope everybody's doing well you all are in my prayers please stay safe please wash your hands for the 20 seconds that are recommended disinfect when you can cover your coughs um stay socially distant if people don't want to be socially distant from you i'm having this issue at work people are like are you worried this is nothing it's a government hoax whatever people who work for the government think the government is hoaxing them i'm like what in the world um i have no problem telling people like back up i need my six feet um i had someone ask me to borrow my phone i'm like no go upstairs and use your own phone <laughs> like i don't even lend out my phone when everything's going fine because i'm just a very i guess you could call me a germaphobe um i'm a very germ conscious person i don't like people touching my stuff i don't touch other people's stuff because i feel like it's rude um so like if something is crossing your boundary when you're out like say something you know just be like hey can you give me my space or um you really should cover your cough or whatever i've been doing that a lot at work like i've been telling my coworkers, like if you all aren't worried or you don't think that's real like that's fine i respect your opinion but i personally am worried i have a 89 year old grandma i have a dad that is not in the best health i am worried um and you know it's like Spare me the lectures of why I should not be worried. Like I have my own brain. I've come to my own conclusions and um, just respect, you know, what I feel like I need to do for myself and my family. So, you know, if you guys need to speak up like that, make sure you do it. And also, if you would like to chat, um, you know, about anything, if you're having some extra anxiety, if you've never had anxiety and you are now, I'm completely opening I'm completely open to chatting with you all. If you just want to talk polish on Instagram with me to take your minds off things, I'm here for you guys. Um, even though we can't be out as much, like go outside, get some sun, sit on your porch. I have I did that yesterday. Um, I went for like a quick walk at work and it just like completely lifted my mood. So take care of yourselves, you guys. This is a really stressful time. Everybody's stressed out. Everybody, well, maybe not everybody. Um, a majority of the people are stressed out. A majority of the people are very um, unsure of what's to come. And we're all in the same boat. And we just have to really, you know, hunker down, do what they're asking of us. It's not that big of a sacrifice compared to other things that we could be asked to do. And um, we'll all get through it. Everything's going to be okay. Like, we have to believe that. You know, we have to put our faith in God and that's all we can do. Control what we can control. You know, wash your hands, all of that stuff. You know, be cautious and then leave the rest in God's hands. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I hope that you are enjoying extra time with your kids and family. I know I will be. And um, that's it for this video. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.